The interesting thing about conservation and restoration that I, I, I find fascinating is it's actually not just technique. You know, it's, it's, it's a philosophy, it's a set of ethical decisions, um, and it's a theory about what might happen. And so to be able to really work on works of art and you're touching them with your hands, but then you're making decisions about their future. It is, of course, what restoration is everywhere, but we have such a wealth of art to, to, to sustain. We're working always with original object, original art. Italy is, uh, maybe the Italy is the best, because the Italy had uh, Michelangelo, Donatello, Giotto, many, many important artists. 65% of the art in the world is in Italy. Just walking down the streets, they have frescoes um, in some of the walls, or little nooks that have a um, Madonna and child. And this is just their environment. Most people take it for granted, but like if you're actually looking for these things, it's a really good experience to think about how you could possibly fix them. So our students have access to res restoring real art. Uh, they, there are so many churches with amazing paintings in their basements that they send over and we get to, my students get to work on them. I remember walking to the Uffizi and I, I stood in front of the Primavera and I just almost wanted to cry because I had studied it for three years up to that point point. never thought I'd actually be arm's length away from it and it was just very emotional. It's a very much a mentorship role, particularly in conservation and restoration. Yes, they get to touch amazing works of art at times in, in when you think, are there beginners, is it okay? But there's somebody right there who's an expert. Yeah, all of my uh, teachers here all in the restoration department are great people who have accomplished a lot. Lorenzo Casamenti particularly has worked for over 30 years with some of the churches and monasteries around here constantly bringing in work for them for us to work on as well as bringing us there to work on stuff on site. And that is probably the most one-to-one, -one, you know, one to three students at a time kind of program we have because you need that supervision. I like the fact that it's really hands-on type class. It's not like you just, you're just sitting in a lecture, it's hands-on, on-the-job training where it's kind of nerve-wracking at first but you know, you get used to it really fast. In the Medici Chapel, this, this area where Michelangelo had been in hiding, uh, all the charcoal sketchings that he did in his like spare time, like we would doodle in class, he was just writing on the walls. There's burn marks from where he was holding the torch as he was drawing, and uh, fingerprints. It was amazing. <laughs> Felt kind of special to go down there.